Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn Daily Energy for Tuesday, September 21st. And this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take what does. If it does not, leave what does not. Also, you have the power to change my life for the better just by liking, subscribing, and watching my video all the way through. I greatly appreciate any and all of your support. All right, so we have Four of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Swords. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Death card. I, I feel heavy. I feel like there are some of you that are really struggling with something, that you feel that something is out of reach, that you're almost... So I almost feel like you're alone. I feel like you're kind of isolating yourself from other people. Oh, and then we have three of cups. We have the king of cups. We have the queen of wands reversed. We have the four of cups. And we have the four of swords. I feel like some heavy energy. We've got the death card right in the middle. And the death card represents that you could be holding on to, holding on to things that really are no longer useful for you. Um, and that it represents transformation, transformation um, and transition. I feel like there's almost some of you that almost have to really pick, pick yourself up by your bootstraps and just move forward. I feel like some of you are really struggling, like you feel like things are out of reach and you're feeling like all of this, this frustration from that is like I, these swords just all pointing down. Like that's what I'm focusing on. Like I'm, I just had to take a deep breath because I'm, I'm feeling like the energy and then you know, this Four of Cups here. He's sitting on this little seashell all by himself, but there is a dolphin behind him that's handing him this cup. I feel like you have this opportunity to move past this situation, but it's almost like you have to pick yourself up. Your, like, you have to make that... Even though it's hard at times, like I totally get it. Because um, you feel like you just want to isolate yourself and you just want to be alone. And you're like, I don't want to deal with anything. I have all of this stuff and I'm feeling like everything's out of reach. And, and I'm feeling like things just... Like you just feel like you just want to be by yourself. But it's almost like you have to push yourself to get out of that energy. Now, this Three of Cups to me can also represent like maybe you have some friends around you, you that you can really rely on that that will support you that will help to lift you up but I also feel like you have to make the the initial first step um, in order to reach out to these people like maybe these people have reached out to you and said hey you know what can I do and then you're like no nothing I'm fine but then maybe you know it's it's time for you to realize that, yeah, I really do have to talk to somebody. I do have to, you know, get myself out of this energy that I'm in. Um, I really do have to start moving around, getting out there, and stop isolating myself from everybody else. Because I feel like by isolating yourself, you're staying in this energy longer. Like you're staying in this energy. Sometimes, you know, it's almost like, you're just like, oh, I just want to be by myself. And then it's almost like you sort of get in that energy and then it gets harder to pull yourself out of it. But then once you get out and you go do something um, and you're able to change things up and you feel so much better, you're like, oh my gosh, why didn't I do this this earlier? But it was just like you you almost are, you're like stuck in this this energy here. I do feel like with this dolphin with the cup, I do feel like you have an opportunity to do this, to move away from this. Of course, I'm not telling you what you have to do. You have to make these decisions on your, on your own, but I'm just reading what these cards are, are telling me, and this is for that person that feels isolated, that feels stuck, that feels by themselves, but yet they have to you know, change things up 
and something has to be different like because staying in this energy isn't good for you like there's an opportunity that comes in for you to to move away from this or reaching out to somebody and saying hey you know I need to talk about this or I need to 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 move away from this energy I need to lighten my energy um, let's see Like she's reaching for these cups that are already spilt up at the top, but there's two cups right in front of her. And it's, maybe it's like looking and seeing what's right in front of you. Maybe looking and seeing what's right around you that can help you get past this. came out all right so we have the five of cups and we have the five of swords and I feel like people are worried about you I feel like people are concerned because I just feel like this really heavy energy around you I really feel like people are concerned for you Two of Wands, taking, you know, Two of Wands, taking taking that initial first step sometimes is the hardest step to take. You know, it's just like pulling yourself up, like I said, by the bootstraps and like, okay, here we go again. I got to move forward. I got to, you know, pull myself up from the bottom of this barrel. But... I feel like this energy feels really heavy and this is something that like things have to be changed. Things have to be changed up. Okay, and then we have the Knight of Wands. You have to, you know, moving forward, making that decision, okay? Um, maybe there's, you know, maybe there's something that you need more information about. Whatever this thing is, maybe it's about finding more information about this situation that is making making you feel heavy, that's making you feel... Um, frustrated that's that's giving you this nine of swords energy like maybe finding out some more information about it you know whatever that may be you know if it's a health issue or it's an issue with a person or you know doing some more research on it maybe that's what will will help you to give that energy to move forward um, this happiness this three of cups for you has been delayed for a while um, you know, maybe you've heard some disappointing news about a situation. Maybe there's something that you really thought was going to happen and it didn't happen. And this really dis this news disappointed you. And this this news has really kind of this disappointing news has really held you down and kind of put you in this heavy energy. Um, and yes, you know you just, you know if it's if it's hurtful news or really sad news, yes, like you have to. Um, you have to mourn that and you have to work through it, but then you don't want to stay in that too long. I also feel like, look at those things that you're surrounding yourself. Like, are you watching the news all the time that's upsetting you, you know? Um, is that, are you always staying in that energy? So maybe it's time to maybe turn the news off and focus on something, you know, have something that's, that's happier for you. Have something that um, is more, you know, uh, not as heavy. I mean, yes, it's nice to know about what's going on, you know, if you like to to watch that, but sometimes it becomes too much. It becomes too negative. Um, I know that, that I used to watch the news and I read the newspaper all the time, but then it got to the point where it was so much negative energy that it was it was making me sad and like I was being upset for things that I couldn't control and hearing all this bad news all the time was holding me down so I stopped doing that and I felt a lot better so 
maybe it's people that you're surrounding yourself that are always being negative or holding you back. So maybe it's, you know, look at those things that you're doing around you. Maybe you're keeping your blinds closed all the time and it's very dark in, in where you live. And so maybe it's time to open those windows, you know, and open those blinds and let the light in. So maybe looking at those things that you're doing around that maybe you could change that will give you a more positive energy. Maybe you love flowers. Go buy yourself a, you know, <coughs> a new plant um, or some uh, a bunch of flowers and focus on that. Sometimes it's that one little thing that can really change our attitude or our mind around. Um, maybe it's something that you're always upset about what somebody else is doing but maybe it's time to just let that go let them do what they're doing like you can't control what other people do maybe it's time to just you know let them dig their own you know hole you know if they're if they're doing you know stuff that's bothering you or stuff that isn't right you know you can't control that person so just just let that person deal with their own things you focus on you all right um Four of Pentacles, again, like you're blocking energy. You're blocking, I feel like you're really blocking the energy. Like we got a lot of heavy energy here. Um, and you're really, that's what I felt when I started doing this. Um, so you, you're blocking that. There's something that has to, we have the tower, which I'm not surprised. Um, there's something that was built on a false foundation that has to be rebuilt. Somebody that something that has to be torn down. Like I said, maybe looking at those things that you're doing around, you know, that maybe you can change up that will be lighter. Maybe it's those relationships with those people that are holding you back. You know, whatever this is, whatever this tower represents for you. Maybe it's negative thinking. Maybe you're always, you know, you're tending to think more on the well, this didn't happen for me, and that didn't happen for me, and this didn't happen, and that didn't happen, and you're f you're focusing all on what didn't happen, but you need to focus on what does what did ha what does happen, what did happen, what are those positive things, um, whatever this tower represents for you that has to be torn down and then rebuilt with a stronger foundation, and then four of swords, the wheel, um, love that time for change time for change okay so you're really in a dark you know heavy moment so that wheel is turning so that you're turning more towards the light things are changing things are turning around for you but it also has to do a lot with your mindset too um, and you, like I said I feel like the big thing is looking around you and seeing you know what things can you change up so you don't stay in this energy to help you with this transition and this transformation I mean we have the death card and the tower card something needs to change something needs to be different um, something needs to be changed let's see I have the whispers of love for some reason I was drawn to that one You have to have self-love. You have to you have to look out for you. You have to make the decisions that are best for you. You have to make the choices that are best for you. And maybe you've been focusing a lot on somebody else and making them happy. Um, and it's time for you to focus on you. All right. We have turn on your heart light. Reflect on a time when you experienced love. You know, focusing on those positive things that happened to you. <clears throat> Not on what didn't happen, but what did happen. Loving yourself. Um, I feel like that's looking out for you, making those decisions that are best for you. We have demonstrate love. Find out what is important to those you love and act on it. Maybe it is about, you know, if somebody else likes flowers, buy a bunch for you and buy a bunch for, you know, that person that's been, you know, asking you, can I help you? What can I do? You know, can I listen to what, you know, do you need to talk to somebody? I'm here, you know, and that always helps to feel better. And then we have spend quality time together, listen and talk to each other. Okay. And maybe, maybe, you, you know, you have a partner that you, you're just kind of, being by yourself and you're not really spending time with that partner and maybe it's time to spend that quality time together and listen and talk to each other maybe you're feeling you know isolated from your partner 
and instead of backing away more, maybe it's time to let down those walls and become closer with your partner and share those things, share your feelings, let your partner help you through this, this situation and to change things up, change, change your communication with your partner and ready for those, those changes to come in. So I really, I really hope this helps you. Um, you know, finding out more information to help you solve, you know, help you get more information about what's going on, changing up, you know, around you, you know, maybe not listening to the news or negative things as much, maybe not staying around negative people as much, opening up those windows, you know, letting that sunshine in, changing those things and making those little changes can make a huge difference. And I really, truly hope that this helps you. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.